Hello and welcome. Thanks for coming. This is Fluke Friday, episode 10. And today what we're gonna do is we are gonna go over an unboxing of the T6 Pro as well as the T6 1000. So I hope you guys will enjoy this. We're gonna go through uh, an unboxing, open in both of these, as well as talk about some of the differences in the features on both and get into it. So let's jump into it. The T6 1000, as you can see here, it is gonna come in like a blister pack, so it's see-through. Um, let me open this right up. I'm sure that was crazy loud on the audio. What you're gonna get outside of that clamshell is you're gonna get a user manual, something to remind you you can buy a T pack, little magnet pack that'll fit into this little thing. And you get some user manual stuff, okay? User manual and a little clip for um, probe clip, okay? So if you've got your test leads and you want to, you need to cover up and make sure there's only four millimeters of metal exposed so you don't lose these little cones um, to put on top of your test leads, you can clip them straight to your lead if you want to use that. Okay, so you can see on the back here, we do have a little instruction. Hey, put your finger on this sensor if you want to use field sense. So you can see that's different. Again, like all my Fluke things, when it comes with a plastic uh, protection, screen protector, I pull this off. I feel like I can see that screen better. Um, you do as you choose, it's your meter. Also pull this off. Now we've got our T6 1000. And remember, it's got the features, volts, amps with field sense and um, continuity. Okay. Let's now look at the T6 1000 Pro. First off, it does come in a box. It comes in a box instead of the uh, clamshell plastic wrap. And other things that come with it, let's lay these out real quick. Okay, you can see what we get here in the Pro version. Again, you get the little cones to cover the ends of your test leads. You get a alligator clip for your common lead. You get a case, you get the T6 1000 Pro. Get a quick start guide. These are kind of nice if you're not big on reading user manuals or instructions. It's a, you know, my five-year-old daughter can figure this out because it's basically just picture proof. And then you do get the little safety information that comes in probably every language in the world. So, okay. So you kind of see the difference with the T6 1000. You just get the meter with the Pro. You get the alligator clip and the um, holster that you can then put on your belt loop and it slides in like so and we'll secure your test leads in, yeah. So you can see it just like that, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the features of both and what the difference is. So they both have the backlit screen. They both have the same range, both same category rating, okay? So you still get volts, amps, with field sense, okay? So when you get to field sense, one thing that is different with the field sense, you flip it over to the back, with the Pro, the T6 Pro and the 600, it's got a contact tab for your thumb so it can use your body as the ground reference or the impedance reference. With 
the the pro version you do have to use the common lead and connect this to a ground either using the test lead and holding it and then sliding your jaws over the wire you're interested in or using the alligator clip that is provided with the pro version and clip onto a ground lug and then slide over a wire either way um, you can you can also do that with the t6 1000 you can use the probe instead of your finger to touch the ground um, and you will get more accurate readings but it does not come in the box with this with the uh, alligator clip okay the other thing that you get is a feature that the 1000 does not come with that the pro does so i'm going to pull all these off my test leads so if i do test lead with the 1000 uh, t6 1000 You can hear the sound and you can see that the uh, resistance changes. With the pro version, you get the sound, you get the sound and the thing changes and the backlit screen turns green. Again, from a previous video, that is called visual continuity. So hopefully that's basic, easy to understand. Basically you get a holster, alligator clips, and visual continuity versus the T6 1000 Pro. I think for the difference in price right now, the only difference in price is about $20 for the Pro version. I really think you're gonna be much happier with the Pro version, just for the visual continuity itself is worth it. But the fact that you get a $25, $30 holster and an alligator clip, which is worth, well, I don't know, 10 or 15 bucks if you bought it by itself. So really, the, the T6 1000 Pro is what I would go with, and you kind of see what you do get in each box. If you have any questions about either of these tools and you want to um, know more about them or you're not sure how they work, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to them. And thanks. Have a great weekend. Take care.